Let's get the headlines. Uh, former teacher in Kentucky, a gym teacher by the name of Crystal Graham, was charged with disorderly conduct uh, after an incident in gym class where she threatened to cut off a student's dick and shove it down his throat. <laughs> During a kickball game. During a kickball game. I missed that important detail. The student jumped on uh, another student's back. This was, this was a boy who just kind of jumped on another kid's back. They were horsing around and she yelled at him i will cut off your dick and shove it down your throat <laughs> and how did this make the news how did this how did this get in like okay so she got fired fairly soon after that or she had to retire after this became public um but now she's being charged with a crime i think so one of the kids involved in the crime complained uh which is kind of a weak move uh that you know that she did this. She not only you know said that she would cut off his dick and shove it down his throat. <laughs> she did a double bird, middle finger style, double hands, she must two have, hands. She must have been having a rough day. <laughs> I mean, imagine, imagine just being in charge of a kickball game, and having that thought, <laughs> and then saying it out loud at a child uh, that you were going to cut off their dick <laughs> and this shove a it down their throat. Like, by the way, it's a middle school. It was not a high school. It was a middle school. She was. She was uh, 34 years old at the time. Yeah, that's even worse. Yeah, that's I mean, what the I mean. Older the, ki the older the person, the more they can handle uh, having their penis cut off and shoved down their throat. <laughs> but when you're in the <laughs> developmental age in middle school, I just don't think there's any room for it. And that's why I would never let my kid play kickball. People <laughs> talk about concussions in the NFL. <laughs> but when you talk about, if you look at the numbers <laughs> of the people who, get, who are getting their dicks cut off and shoved down their own throats, uh, it's all kickball. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is about kickball, but uh, but the injury rate is sky high, and it's it's almost always it's almost always a uh, a penis being cut off and then shoved down the throat, uh, just for not really respecting the game of kickball. Wow! If like, your middle really school teacher said to you guys when you were playing kickball, "I'm gonna cut your dick off and shove it down your throat." Would you say anything? Would you tell someone? Would you tell your parents? Would you? I would give I mean, her a high five. I would listen. F <laughs> first of all, if that happened to me in middle school, I would still be laughing about it right now. <laughs> like I would think it was the greatest thing that ever happened to me. It would just delight me that I would probably tell people in like a. You're not gonna believe what happened in school. <laughs> we were playing kickball, and the teacher threatened to cut off my dick and shove it down my throat. <laughs> I. <laughs> Like, why not just stop with cutting off the dick? Like, that's uh, that alone is... <laughs> is why did she give the double bird with <laughs> afterwards, too? I, I want to know. Um, I kind of looked at this and was just like, you know, I don't want to sound like the old man, like, get off my lawn stuff, but how soft are we getting uh, as a society that, that you can't threaten to cut a kid's dick off and shove it down their throat during a kickball game? When we were kids... People were threatening to cut off our dicks all the time. It happened all the time. <laughs> it happened. I mean, the fact that we made it to, into our 40s right. with our dicks intact and not down our throat, <laughs> it, uh, considering the amount of kickball we played as kids, uh, I think is I think is stunning. I don't know how we. Got it wasn't through. even just kickball. Just like neighbors, whoever, they would be yelling at it all the time. But we took it because it was like a different era. But now kids, it's like ooh, sensitive feelings, and they just go go run to the teachers. It's like. Well, what if, what if Ellis came home and was like, Dad, I was playing kickball today, and my teacher yelled at me, gave me two middle fingers, was, and said they'd cut my dick off and shove it I'd be like, you don't even throat. have a dick. That yeah. doesn't make any sense, Ellis. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a hollow threat. Right. And, um, I, and I told you, use your right foot and really kick through the ball, Ellis. Mm -hmm. We are going to go to the wrestling ring where we have a, a tragic story. Um, the Silver King who is a former WCW wrestler who also starred as the uh, bad guy in the 2006 comedy Nacho Libre, died while in the wrestling ring last week uh, by an apparent heart attack, got knocked down three different times and then just was kind of lying there uh, on the ground uh, and he was 51 years old. His real name was Cesar Baron. I like the fact that he was supposed to win the match. Like, you know, uh, but professional wrestling, I believe they are athletes. They do it. Their job is very difficult. They are totally athletes, but it is scripted. It, they, they know who's going to win in advance. And uh, this guy was supposed to win and the guy he's fighting is like trying to find a way to still lose the match even though the other guy's dead. The guy, did you imagine trying to get someone who's Did dead you watch the video? You? No. Oh, my God. 
it's the saddest thing. I mean, it is the saddest thing ever that you could find some humor in because of what you're saying. He was the the guy he was fighting with was clearly so confused and did not know what to do. Yeah, didn't know what to do. Um, and like and just couldn't find a way to get the dead guy to pin him. Um, and you know we we, we, we th- this is a sad story. Um, but I think that if uh, the Silver King was alive today, he would appreciate it. You know, I think he'd probably be like, thank you, Anthony and Greg. Mm. I'm going to cut off your dick <laughs> <laughs> and shove it down your throat. I mean, it, one th- a few things I learned watching this video. Well, first of all, it's really hard to roll over a dead person. I mean, like he could not get the guy. He was trying to flip him over to eventually pin him because he, re- he realized something was wrong. But then here's where here's where it like gets a little like tragic comedy. <laughs> he celebrated the victory for so long. <laughs> he went to each corner, uh, got his own flag out, started waving it. The crowd is there. It's a pretty big crowd. This is a it's, he's not no longer in the WCW, but wherever they were, he's waving his flag. He's celebrating. And and the other wrestler is just lying there dead in the middle of the ring for like for like three minutes no i'm beginning to think like the medical that it's not really that safe to be a wrestler no medical attention whatsoever being paid to the guy in the ring i mean i think that that's did they know like i think they didn't know yet but he he knew something was wrong eventually the ref comes out and tries to take off his mask and they realize something's wrong and then some people come out but the video (sighs) just keeps going on and on he's like dancing (laughs) but if you're a wrestler it's like a bad skit if you're a wrestler and you kill someone I got to think it's like the top thing you can do. Do you know what I mean? Because it is fake. That how often does it happen? You know, not not that often. And it reminded me of the movie The Wrestler, which is a great movie. It yes. ends with him choosing to die in the ring. So maybe this is how uh, the Silver King wanted to go out. Mm. You know, not this was was with with the guy he was fighting, <laughs> waving flags around the ring, <laughs> celebrating within an inch of his life <laughs> while he laid while he laid there dying. Yeah, this was at London. I mean, it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's imagine, not recommendation station, by the way, bad. but The Wrestler is one of my favorite movies of all time. Everyone, imagine how it. bad the guy felt when he found out he was dead. Yeah, for celebrating. Like, I mean, that's that's what is truly funny to me is uh, is the guy. Well, he had to have. He didn't have an idea that the guy was dead, but he was unconscious and he couldn't for minutes, and he had he couldn't roll him over. I don't know what this other guy was thinking. He's probably know. thinking like I'm the Silver King now. <laughs> 